Hey guys, how are you? It's Saturday, of course. Coming to you live from my house. And uh, today we're going to do superstitious. I actually have to like kind of do this in a hurry because my son has soccer and apparently I'm snack mom this weekend. So I have to cut oranges and grapes. So we're going to hurry up and do our face so that I can go and get these snacks ready. So I'm just going to jump right in. So start priming. So yesterday I wore Stoic, this beautiful color. Um, I went and cleaned it up before I left for my son's homecoming game. And it lasted all night. It was wonderful. So from the time I put it on until about quarter to 11 last night, it stayed on. Um, and that's with eating and drinking and all that good stuff. Hi, Justina. So we're just going to prime everything, do our eyes really quick, and then uh, put on some superstitious. So with all these bold colors, I've been doing a lot of research on like how to wear it properly, what really makes it look good, because I don't want to look like Mimi from Drew Carey. So I'm going to do a nude eye today. I'm going to keep it in matte because the colors are so bright. I'm just going to line really quick with some black eyeliner. I'm going to be using Victorious, which is our new matte splurge cream shadow. And just a little um, dark brown for a crease. So, Victorious is a nude. It's our first nude splurge cream shadow. And it's a matte. So, hi, Kathy. Ugh. I hate the fact that I have to rush this today, but soccer mom duties call, I guess. So this is Victorious. This is our new matte splurge cream shadow. It's a very pretty nude. It's the first time I'm using it, so just came out this month. I'm gonna take some of this on my cream shadow brush. And I'm gonna use this all over from my all over my eye. So from my eyebrow down. Try not to get it too much into my eyeshadow here. Or on my eyeliner. So we're just gonna put that all the way down. It's such a pretty nude. And it's okay, because I can clean it up. It'll dry to a powder, just like our other cream shadows. Can you tell I didn't think too much before doing this? And I'm actually going to bring that down into here a little bit. I'm going to soften that up. So the color I picked out for my crease is somewhere in here. There it is. It's called Provoked. It's one of our mineral pigments. And it is this really pretty, like rusty brown. And I'm just gonna use some of that in my crease. Um, Oh, 
tap off the excess, get it nice on there, tap off the excess. And I'm just going to come in here with a little and just blend it. And that nude shadow is going to mute this some, so it's not going to look as dark as it would if I didn't put the nude shadow underneath it. So I'm just going to blend that over a little bit. Soften it up. Make a nice soft eye. Really pretty so far. Add in there. Do the same thing. I need a little more. Yeah. A little more. So, Superstitious is our blue liquid lipstick. So, I'm going to be kind of daring today wear that blue one should be interesting hi Christina so we're going to keep the eye nice and nude with just a little bit of highlight now we're going to do our mascara I'm going to get the eyes all done, and then we'll do the face and lips. I'm also going to use um, Victorious as our blusher, because in all my research, because I'm a researcholic, um, it says to keep everything nude. If you really, for my skin tone, I have um, olive skin tone, so... I'm going to keep it all nice and nude. We are not going to be doing Mimi from the Drew Carey show at all. So. Put some 3D fibers on. Sometimes I have to do this because there's too many fibers that come out, but it's all good. They go back in their home. So I don't, I have not worn blue lipstick since I was probably, oh my gosh, teenager, early 20s, tops. So, I think it's kind of crazy that it came back in. However, lots of things have come back in that I think are kind of crazy. I don't understand why, but they do. But, we'll give it a shot, you know? So, oh, I'm sure I won't be wearing it every day. But what better day to wear it than to your son's pre-K soccer game, right? Clean up. Separate that one some. So I'm excited and a little nervous to see how it turns out going to seal them in. Go around here. Hope I get this done in enough time. Yeah. We're going to try. And last. 
acting annoying today. Being a pain in the tucket. Okay. So we have our eyes done. We kept it nice and nude. Again, Victoria's Cream Shadow and Provoked. I did in my crease. Okay, put these away. Find our foundation. There it is. How you doing, Christina? How is everybody doing? I'm in such a rush today. I really need to better my time management skills here. So, one, two, three, four, five. Get about five drops in. Got that everywhere. Our foundation pox. And let's buff. What did I do last? Last night we went to homecoming for our high school. My son is in marching band. Boys won their homecoming game. It was uh, a good game. So everybody played their best. And I think there was a lot of crappy calls who played. The football junkie and me came out. I'm not going to lie. I said a few choice words there about the refs from my spot in the stands. But we won, which is good. So, it was a good game. Hi, si Hi Heidi. I almost called you Bowers. <laughs> hey, Herbie. All right, so we're going to take... More of our new splurge cream eyeshadow. I'm gonna get it on my finger here and I'm just gonna use it as a blush. Just keep it on the apples of my cheek. Keep it nice and nude here. And then I'm just gonna add um Some bronzer below it like down here so we're gonna use that I'll add some bronzer in with it wrong one yes it did work sorry I pulled on my phone cord yes it did work Heidi um I had curls last night. Um, it was really easy. So, and they looked really good after I finger curled them, like uh, finger combed them out some. So, it does work. So, now I'm going to take some Malibu and I'm going to use the matte shade, not the light, shimmery, glittery shade. I'm just going to. Just add a little in here. Like that. That. Shadow. So. There we go. I'm just going to dust whatever excess all around my face that's it so there we go okay where's my eyeballs where'd my eyeballs go guys there they are can't find them found them okay so that's it for face um so now we're gonna get 
I'm gonna fix my little boo-boo up here. I just want to make that top line a little bit cleaner. A little bit smoother. Okay. Now we gotta find our lipstick. Oh my god today. I'm, oh my lord, this is like nuts today. I keep dropping stuff. Not good. What did this thing do? Oh, that's how I can see. Look at this. I'm figuring out new stuff about this live all the time. If I swipe to the right, I can see when you guys join. Maybe I should keep it that way for a little bit. So this is Superstitious Blue. Apparently it's a new hot, trendy color for fall, but it's been around before. So what are we gonna do? Take our brush and scrape off the excess. We don't need a lot at all. And here we go. We're gonna line. And we're going to take, see this end, it like curves a little bit. Can you guys see that? I didn't even put any on my top lip. I just blotted my lips together. And then... Ran over my bottom lip. And there you go. You have to be careful with this one. So, that tends to... I'll clean that up with some... Watch this. I'm going to take some concealer and clean that up so you don't even see it. So you're not wiping, wiping, wiping. I'm take concealer. Where's my concealer brush? It's in here somewhere. Just dump them all out. Let's just make a mess while we're at it. And I'm just going to Clean that up with some concealer. Dress this up. Mm -hmm. Some of my bronzer. There we go. Superstitious. So I kept this looking not crazy by doing a nude eye and just some bronzer and even some of our nude matte blush on my cheeks. And I don't look like Mimi and I don't look super scary. It looks really nice. 
I got to clean that, but something I probably won't wear every day, but it looks cool. So, all right, guys, I hate to cut it short. You know, I love you. I have to go cut orange.